In this lesson, we're going to be managing cart by Redux. Here we have implemented adding item to cart and also removing item from cart. They are not in the Redux store, but they are in the component store. Let's move them to Redux store. Before that, let's clean app.js. Open app.js. And here we do not need constructor anymore. Handle sort and handle chain and also list product. Great, the app component is clean now. It's time to create action types for adding to cart and removing from cart. Open actions types and here we created already add to cart constant and remove from cart constant the next step is to create cart actions cart actions.js and here we need to export constant the first action is add to cart this function accept two parameter the first one is items of cart and the second one is the item we're gonna add to the cart and here like previous actions we defined it returns another function which takes dispatch as an argument and here we need to copy from handle add to cart content here and remove the state related stuff first of all we need to copy items with slice function and put it inside a constant named cart items we define flag product already in cart let's rename the item to product because we're gonna add this product to the cart item and if product is not in the cart, we push it to the cart item. And at the end, we save the cart items in the local storage. At the end of this function, get rid of return cart items. And what we want to return is dispatch. And we want to dispatch an action. The action type is add to cart and the payload cart items which its value is cart items let's create a reducer for cart inside the reducer folder create cart reducer.js and we just copy product reducer boilerplate the initial state for cart is just items in the cart which is empty by default and the only action we're gonna put in the switch case is add to cart and we just remove the others from import in the add to cart case we want to return the new state the new state is the items that comes from actions dot payload.cart items we need to add cart reducer to the root reducer open index.js in the reducer folder and add cart reducer like this let's implement remove from cart action here export const remove from cart it's like add to cart accept items and the product we're gonna remove from the basket inside remove from cart we're gonna use the code in the app.js inside handle remove from cart so we do not need them anymore let's remove code related to adding and removing from cart in the app.js because we transferred them to the cart actions and here let's get rid of set state what we do in this line is to create a copy of items in the cart and remove the items that 
is equal to product and in this line we save the cart items in the local storage and at the end we need to dispatch action remove from cart with related payload which is cart items now it's time to edit basket component open basket component and cut export default and move it to at the end of the page and we wanna connect basket to the redux store let's we use connect and like before two parentheses and the last one takes basket and the first one takes map state the first props will be cart items that comes from state dot cart dot items and we put it as a first argument of connect and the second argument is action which is remove from cart let's include remove from cart from cart action and here connect comes from react redux here we need to edit remove button and unclick we use remove from cart and it takes this dot props dot cart items as a first argument and the second argument is the product now it's time to edit products component we need to change handle add to cart to the action add to cart in the cart action so let's import the action here and add it from cart actions add to cart the first argument is this dot props dot cart items and the second one is the product we're gonna add to the cart so here we need to put cart items as a props cart items comes from state dot cart dot items and we do not need e anymore and the unclick for anchor will be like the unclick for add to cart button the last step to make basket works is fetching cart items from local storage let's open store.js and here initial state need to check local storage that get item cart items and if it exists we need to set initial state dot cart its items need to comes from local storage we need to use json dot parse to convert a string to javascript object oops there is a mistake in cart actions the dispatch method takes types not action as a first property let's check the result and here we're gonna add item click add to cart and you get an error which cannot read property cart items of undefined let's fix this error oops there is a type error it's gonna be payload not playload also we need to edit cart actions and change a splice to a slice that's it we are ready to go if you click on add to cart you will see your product is going to add to the basket and if you click removing item from basket doesn't work because we need to add the specific case in the switch case for cart reducer let's open cart reducer and here create a case for remove from cart and here the cart items that comes from dispatch in the remove from cart will be replaced 
with the items in the store. Let's check the result. If you click on the remove button, it's gonna work. And we implemented add to cart, remove from cart with Redux store. Thank you guys. Let's fix the last problem in the e-commerce shopping cart. It doesn't show the number of product open filter component and here we want to change this.props.cont to the count of products inside filtered product dot length that's it we have number of products here thank you for watching this video and at the end of this video you know how to create a shopping cart with react and docs in next courses, I will teach you how to create a real world backend for it and make checkout form and many other stuff. You will need to create a real world application with React and Redux.